You know, it is self-pollinating, though. Farlands are busts. Day 10 of the Flabathon Subathon. April 9th, 2024 here. We've got 20 hours, 25 minutes, and 15 seconds. We got Armo with the first sub resub of the day in 40 months. Added a few minutes and Potomysium with some bits. But those minutes are going to start counting down now. We left off at 59,290.7 megabytes. I mean, it could, well, I don't know about this week. Maybe this week. But this week we reached 60 gigabytes and the estimated thereabouts of where the next floating point precision rollover will be. Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> Certainly not at the rate that I'm currently streaming. Uh, but yeah, if you've got your woofs ready, Woof! There it is. Oh, I thought it was nighttime. <laughs> I looked outside. <laughs> I know it's hilarious. It is from this angle. <laughs> that was weird. Kurt Wolfie. Kurt Wolfie. Lego Hog. Thank you very much. For 51 months. What happened? Ah! Ah! I tabbed out. I accidentally tabbed out. And the game froze. It's fine. We're back. We're back. We're back in the room. Are you not gonna... There it is. Hey! Much appreciated. Alright, let's continue, uh... Wes. Which is this... I wanna go that way. Let's go this way. Such a, such a strange menagerie of animals we have waiting for us to leave the hidey hole. Cow somewhere out there? Dang old cows! April 9th, the day after the eclipse. Is anybody who went to totality have traffic horror stories? Yep. <laughs> oh yes. All right. That in addition to the shared experience of the awe of the m movement of the clock of the cosmos, you also have the shared experience of absolutely mental traffic. Weatherman says not really. Delta Whiskey! A negligible I guess it's just like the luck of the draw, if you're already, like, in kind of a nowhere area. I'm sure it's helping, but if you're traveling at all between... or t in the direction of a major hub... then, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna experience some of that hub. Some towns had police directing traffic. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, in 2017 there was really no choice. 
for me in Oregon to get back to Seattle. There's really only one north-south highway, <laughs> and it's the one everybody was trying to use. Yeah, the geography, I could see that being a problem in the northeast. Just like here, we're kind of stuck between an ocean and a mountain range. Well, that's good. Hopefully everybody got there, there and back safe and sound, if not a little bit late. Not so bad. I mean, it's a long time, but it didn't even double if it took you four and a half hours to get to your spot and nine to get back. Mine like quadrupled. <laughs> Speaking of eclipses. Oh, careful, Wolfie. Oh, jeez. Oh, good lord, he's coming. Ah! <laughs> no, 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 no. Stop it. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's an annular. It's an annular eclipse. No good. My eyes! Oh, God! <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> Glad that wasn't lava. <laughs> oh, boy. And that is why one of the milestones is not me walking backwards. <laughs> looking up in the sky. I don't have room on my heart, heart bar for, for a water bucket. I was able to extinguish Wolfie when he was on fire that one time. I'm quick. Skilled. Excuse? Ocean zombies. How often do you actually need a bow, though? That's a that's a good point you're making. But every time I have needed it, I'm glad I had it. And that's why you don't stare at the eclipsed sun without flob eclipse glasses. Branding. Oh, 
Can I fit through here? I don't think so. Oh. I'm stuck. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. What if I back in? Nope. Wolfie is showing me the way. Oh, <laughs> see, you can't... Th that was what I was saying uh, before. It would be funny if one of the, the goals was to, instead of not use a boat, to only use a boat. And you'd get stuck like that, but you can't you can't break blocks and like make a canal while you're in the boat because you break the boat. Forward progress in a boat only. I see. Just like the caveats for the only walking in a straight line. I was allowed to get pork chops for Wolfie. Spooky noises. Pork chop emergency. You'll also notice that the direct relief charity is much higher, and that's because the one and only Dravir gave a very generous charity donation yesterday. Was it yesterday? It was yesterday. Bringing us to within less than $2,000 of reaching that goal, which when we do, we double the amount that's on the clock. the goal with one second left. I mean, that's what I'm hoping for. Is that over there? Oh, it's a pumpkin. I'm like, I saw a weird color. I was like, is that an orange sheep? <laughs> I'm gonna have to come up with a whole new song. Hanging out, huh?
Here's a question. How many of you have had or are aware of cheesy rice? That is to say, pretty much macaroni and cheese, but instead of with macaroni, with rice. I can go several days without rest. Manfredity is. You cannot. Thank you for the five sub bath bomb in the sub tub. We did drop below 1600, so I don't know if we're going to do F1 with Cone. Or 1600. I mean, yeah, I, but the, 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 we were thinking of dinner the other day and we had a block of pasteurized cheese product. Um, and sausage and broccoli. And I'm like, I don't really feel like pasta though, like macaroni and cheese. He's like, why don't we use rice? I'm like, what? Is that even going to be good? He's like, how have you never had ricey, rice, rice cheese, cheese rice, cheesy rice? It turned out to be good, yes. It turned out to be, uh, good. Oh. Chocolate pudding? Chocolate broccoli. Well, now you're just saying crazy things. <laughs> now you're just being silly for the sake of it. True, it is kind of it's it's kind of a poor man's risotto, an easy risotto, an imitation cheddar cheese risotto. Broccoli. <laughs> uh. I think there might be an Irish cheesy rice dish, but I can't remember. I don't know. Anyway, I thought I would bring that up to see if I was the only one or not. Because my initial thing was like to question whether or not it would even be any good. I'm like, rice? And cheese? Rice is good with almost anything, I imagine. Oh, we missed it. It'll never happen again. <laughs> Imans, are you... Delayed like five minutes? Yes, rice and cheese. We, uh, we went out to a pho restaurant. I got, I, I splurged and got the, uh, what did I get? Like, it was like a beef rib. What is that called? Instead of, like, the normal, like, 
Short rib. No, yeah, yeah, short rib. It was a short rib pho. Those like two big ribs with meat on them in, in the pho. It was good. It was a little bit more work because he had to like cut the meat off the rib. <laughs> They also had a wai waiugu wai waigu waigu fa but I don't, I don't know it's not like a super fancy place so I don't know how like Oh Wagyu? Wag me? I mean, honestly, I think it was the same price as the spare short rib, uh, <laughs> but I don't. I didn't know if I would like it. So that was that was different and interesting. Beef, uh, I mean, yeah, this place has like all the different fuzz with like, I don't, I don't do the traditional stuff with tripe or tendon. Spooky tendons. I usually, usually just do, it's just like steak. Or the meatballs. The meatballs are kind of weird sometimes, but the meatball uh, is fine. Because that was that was our second date, the girlfriend and I. We went out for pho, and I'd never had pho in my life. And I'm like, I guess I'll try it. Because I was smitten. Smitten! Work had some vegan tripe snacks. How, how do you make tripe vegan? <laughs> like, tripe is like the least vegan concept there is. I'm gonna eat this animal's guts. <laughs> Difficult to find places that have good vegetarian pho. Um, I mean, that's what the girlfriend got. It's very good. With like, um... I mean, I guess a lot of places only have, like, the beef broth. Yeah, you have to find a place that has a, a vegetable broth, in which case it's not quite the same as pho, but it's close. There was one place up by me that put like a bunch of actual vegetables in it that was good. And when I say up by me, up where I used to live, <laughs> so there was like carrots and broccoli and like actual 
stuff to eat instead of noodles and broth. This stream brought to you by the concept of soup. Soup. You can eat it or drink it. It's soup. hope that that's all alone right there oh my god it is nice is this not that well it's there's another one over there remember remember during it was like four flabathons ago we had one of these just spires it was even bigger than this it like went up to like the world height limit Where did I... Ah. There's your F3 point. Well, that was the thing. It could That other one could have been our F3 point. But it was, like, too early. We weren't ready. Not bad. Yeah, the other one was gigantic. I don't even know. I'm sure there's many screenshots of it. I think I actually took a panoramic of it. All right, thanks. <laughs> that tree had a mushroom on it. Quiet day here in the Far Lands of Us office. Sorry, I just shaved my head today, so I'm like kind of razor burned. I guess something, something, something doesn't feel right. I took off a too many layers of skin with that one.
Razor burn across the whole head. Every day is head shave day. Is it? <laughs> seem like excessive amounts of shaving. Every two to three days for me. Good lord. I would never get anything done. It takes so long. I mean, maybe it takes so long because I wait like a week in between. But... Use a straight razor. I use the safety razor that somebody got me on throne. It is a bit tedious and maybe not the best for the head because there's no flexibility. It's literally a straight piece and I have a very bumpus head. <laughs> so there's uh, there's some conflicts of geometry there. I would need to like... I thought about an electric. I would need to buy one. Could you shave your own head with a straight razor? I guess, what's your definition of a straight razor? A lot of people say straight razor. And they mean just like a razor, like a shaving razor. Oh, he dirt. You're not Nana. Nana's dead. Leave her alone! Well, Sean, thank you for 78 months in the sub tub and another two minutes on the timer. With those Bezos bucks. A straight razor like the knife. Yeah, like the old timey barbershop razor. I don't know that. Does anybody use those anymore for anything? They make specially curved ravers for head shaving. But not. I need one that's like specifically designed to my weird curved head. I mean, I have, I was thinking, I did try, hello? Goodbye. Yeah. I did try to buy replacement blades for my sponsor uh, Dollar Shave Club handle, but they went and changed the blades in the handle. So I never, I never did that. So that's when I was frustrated about that is when somebody suggested and got me a Safety razor. But then I learned later that it's actually a different company that used to make their blades that they just repackaged as Dollar Shave Club before they got their own. So I could theoretically buy the cartridges 
from that other company that are compatible with the handle that I got from Dollar Shave Club. <laughs> it's a whole thing. But now I have the safety razor and like a hundred blades <laughs> that I, I would feel bad for abandoning and wasting if I went ahead and bought. Replacement blades for the other thing. They were sued for patent infringement? From who? Gillette? But then if that's the case, how come you could still buy the old style that are compatible with the old handle? Oh, yeah, that's that's what the girlfriend has, uh, DeWalt. Or a few DeWalt tools. But they changed the battery design, so you, you like, can't buy replacement batteries or anything. That's one of the reasons I started buying Ryobi. Is because... Their batteries are still compatible with their old style. Like, they've made that conscious choice, even though I obviously don't have any of the old style. You can buy adapters on Etsy. You can 3D print an adapter, too. I never looked into it. I thought it was just like a completely different design. Like, how would that work? <laughs> like, you would need different contacts and stuff, right? And then you void your warranty, which is expired anyway.
<sighs> Excuse me. Everybody's talking about batteries and chat now. The nerds. Dawn on the final 20 hours of the Flabathon Subathon. We made it. It <laughs> will be done by Tuesday. It is Tuesday. Another bamboozle attempt, I see. Video game. Whoa. Is up. What else is new? Mm. <laughs> I'm trying to decide if I want to go over this through it. Maybe. Got him. Now that's some far lands or bus strategy right there. Whoa. That game Open Roads is out. So is Botany Manor. But we can't play any other games. Well, Flobathon's going on, I'm afraid. doing jackbox i don't know the girlfriend wants to join and also we need to paint her nails the girlfriend is very busy <laughs> at the moment i mean it'll definitely be the weekend it's just which weekend Does chat get to choose colors? No, we're going we're going with what colors the girlfriend has. Which I'm going to predict is mostly black. <laughs> no. She said she was gonna do art on mine. She seems to have a plan. No. 
I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> you dingus. I showed you the way to go. Ooh. Ooh, right into the freezing part. We see them all the time. I just realized I don't think I've seen one this flop yet. I mean, like today? There's one following us? Yeah, there's one right there. We see one every day, actually. <laughs> Got him. Buddy, excuse me. Spookies. Oh, excuse me. Monk. Creepers is yelling. I might have to feed them after this segment. Girlfriend's not home yet. Ah, this is, this is not caffeinated tea, but. Nothing to it.
Thanks for letting me sit in. Ain't nothing to it. Gosh, can't stop yawning. Are you able to sleep for the entire night? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Honestly, not usually, really, I don't think. I usually wake up at least once. wake up when the girlfriend has to leave in the morning and sometimes I can fall back asleep and sometimes I can't. Hmm. Cause my blood's too big. <laughs> I don't know if I have low bees. I'm taking bees, so it shouldn't be a problem. But I still gotta go get more tests. I'm just not in a hurry. I still need to like call and figure out how to get my money back. I paid a copay when I didn't need to. Might not be enough. I need all the bees. Bees. Perhaps my body is incapable of processing the bees. 
My bee processing center is down. Speaking of cheesy rice. What are what are some rice dishes? We wanna we wanna start using more rice. As like a main. Or part of a main. Right, fried we've done we do we've done and we do fried rice. We're aware of the fried rice. We did that once on stream. Beer biryani. I make rice bowls with roasted veggies. I would ve veggies are expensive though, not well now though, too. <laughs> I like a roasted veggie. Ow! Oh, nuts. Uh, I don't know where Wolfie is, but hopefully he doesn't take the same damage. Nope. <laughs> ah, Wolfie! <laughs> he just hip-checked me off that. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> you dang doofus. Oh, my helmet's about to explode. I gotta stop landing on my head when I trip. <laughs> Being American, does the cheesy rice come in a can? No, it was just regular white rice. We had cheese. We, it was a concoction we produced ourselves. We added the cheese to the rice. We do get we do get box rice. Like we like jambalaya, which comes in a box. I just wonder if there's like anything that strikes as interesting. Because rice is cheap. Right, it was kind of casserole-y. That's, I guess, I, the cheesy rice was not so much feeling like a macaroni and cheese. It was more like a casserole. A stovetop casserole. I have just rice and soy sauce. I mean, I guess also, the girlfriend sometimes says she feels pressured to make like a human meal for me or to make sure I have a human meal as opposed to the girl meals <laughs> that she's used to. Which would be just like a bowl of rice with some soy sauce on it. Or, as she's proclaimed frequently to have eaten, just plain white bread with a slice of salami in it. And calling it dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> Wait a minute, am I eating girl meals? I don't, it seems to be, maybe it's just a not a me thing. Not out of not eating a lot, but just out of like simplicity and not wanting to dirty any dishes or pots and pans. True, an assortment of snacks. What you end up buying at Trader Joe's. <laughs> Which is never all meals, but instead snacks. <laughs> Change salami with ham and that was my dinner. Ugh, fish and cheese. I mean, fish and anything. No thanks. But fish and cheese. Double no thanks. Ooh, stroganoff. That's not a bad idea. For, I forgot about stroganoff. I wouldn't say it's necessarily easy, perhaps, and I don't know the going price of the type of beef that goes on it. But I forgot about a stroganoff. My mom always used to make that. We get a lot of ground turkey. We get a lot of pork lions. My girlfriend just picked up a whole thing of chicken drumsticks for the grill. I not even no. There's no tuna. There's no fish. Anything. This is a fish-free household. be leaving your sword at the next monument. No, this sword really doesn't have any sentimental value. <laughs> it's just kind of a the diamond sword that we made with all of our other diamond tools which are slowly deteriorating and being replaced. Also, it's still got like two or three years of good use left in it. Look at that health bar on it. Break so many crafting tables with this sword. Or cats. Boy, can you hear them meowing? <laughs> I'll get to them in a minute. This is the last tidy hole before a, a backup break. we build our little house in here. Oh, in reference to a fish-free household. Well, I mean, also for them, we've had to do all these experimental 
allergen-free diets. Niblet is on rabbit. I forgot what peepers is on. Is there a world size estimate for the next floating floating point? Uh people are saying sixty thousand give or take. Mostly unknown. <laughs> All right, let's find out where we're at and back up the world. <laughs> We are at 59,368.51 megabytes. So maybe about 10,000 megabytes from now. 10,000? No, 1,000. <laughs> Listen. Shh. 19, 19, 19, we're back. On April 9th, 2024, day 10, what I got to do is take a day off so that, well, then I wouldn't be able to take a day off after that. So that, like, the days of the subathon match the days of the month. But here we are on day 10 on April 9th, ready to continue if you've got your woofs anyway. Woof, he's taking his sweet old time. It's as if Wolfie knows that I can use all the delay to reduce the timer that I can get. Although he is pushing me off a cliff again. <laughs> Let's continue west. Towards the Thalans. <laughs> towards that floating point rollover which will happen eventually Oh, there he is. I'm <laughs> like, take your time. The damn pigs. Needless murder. With no... Nothing that has been gained. Nothing gained, it's nothing lost. That's the motto of my retirement account. <laughs> oh. Oh, I did not mean to fall in here. I meant to jump over it, but... A 
like music. Unfortunately, I don't have my loot. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm the only one who likes that alert. <laughs> it's just funny. Thank you very much. Mastaba Prime. 31 months in the sub tub. Sub tub! Hello. 31 is a magic number. Yeah. Hmm. There's a ghost. <laughs> I think they heard that. I hope so. How are you? Got done toiling. Toiling for no money. Junebug. Indeed. Tell you what, I'm in a. She's bringing hard economic facts to the table. In this economy? That's the problem. <laughs> They're living high hopes. I'm giving it to them. Mm. What's that? One person. The teacher? <laughs> uh, must resist the urge. I enjoy it actually. Contradict. They're completely, utterly wrong. It's a contradiction. They're just, I'm correcting. Correcting. Correcting the teacher. <laughs> Stop cooking humans. Nope. You are what you eat. That's how you get one. How you get the... The Kuru? Yeah. I don't know what a Kuru is. But you get brain. Brain, brain eaten? Yep. Facts. Again. She knows too much. X-Files. Hmm. All right, y'all are talking about stuff. It's bacteria, viruses. Your prions. Abby says it's normal for girlies to know about cannibalism. Completely normal. Hungry. Hungry? was a cannibal oh. joke. An alcohol joke. Well, I get the cannibal joke and they asked how I felt. Mm. I don't feel mm. Beans. She's full of cannibal jokes. What's Jeffrey Dahmer keeping his shower? Head and shoulders. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm okay. Oh, careful, Wolfie. Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> Eat your boots. Sit down, you haven't even finished your boot. What's this, a boot? Mm, so you can eat them? Uh, yeah, I'm all for... Act. 
The girlfriend has seen it, yes. Talk to you about it. That's not for me. Hmm. Mine was about. Blah. <laughs> okay. Hi. How are you? Got nothing for beans. What's that? Make my own stickers? I would never. I don't know where to put things in your Discord, so I put it in Patreon. Nobody nobody is in Patreon. <laughs> Nobody's a patron of mine anymore, Powers. That's fine. You can put it anywhere you want. His eclipse pictures. What's that? We were talking about dinner. Cheesy, cheesy rice. Oh, pretty good. It was pretty good. Some, some people were as unaware of it as I was when you proposed it. What? Cheesy rice. I, I mean, it made sense once we started eating it, but at first though? I was like, is this actually gonna work? Yeah, but it like, yeah, it was like more casserole than, which is good. It's fine. It was good. But yeah, I was just mentioning that. I was getting a I was getting a feel for people's You're like, should I like this? <laughs> no, I was like, has anybody else heard of this? Am I the weird one for being like, what? <laughs> and then that's what we started talking about. Real meals versus girl meals. You... Cannibalism. Oh. Bachelor palette. Yeah. A father of four palette. Yeah. I mean, there are four people here other That's than what me. I mean, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> really, like, 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 Plus, somebody was saying how they'll sauces. just. I was asking about rice because we want to start using more rice. Yeah. Somebody's like, I just have rice and put a little soy sauce in it, and that's it. Okay, that, <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. What kind of rice? The rice kind? White. A basmati? Or a jasmine? You got brown rice, but then we looked at the bag and it takes 45 minutes to cook, so I don't know when we're gonna I use that. that. I gotta make that. Baked rice. Yeah, don't worry. All right. What was the other one? Somebody said something with rice, but I forgot now. Uh. You're not mad. I don't know either. It was like an Indian thing. Leave her alone! Is this the cooking stream? Be yeah, 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 yeah. Free Ronnie. I can't. Hard to make. Fan of TS3, thank you for 11 months in the sub tub. Welcome back with that Twitch Prime. Sub tub. What is it? Like, it's like an Indian flavored fried rice. Got it. Mmm.
Make it for us then. Put, in... <laughs> Put it in the throne. <laughs> Put the meal you're going to make for us in the throne and then buy it for us. In the throne. Ah. <laughs> I don't understand the throne reference. Because that's where it ends up. Food. Food ends up in the, in the throne. But then it's also the name of the gift. Whoa, I almost sliced the whole feet. It's fine. The time has passed for the joke. It was No, we dropped below 1,600. Yeah, they, better. they better catch up. For 10,000 subs, we rob a bank and then refund everybody their subs. Mmm, <laughs> only if successful. Get out from under the desk. Okay. Friend will be doing math homework and will be walking in Minecraft. What kind of maths? The annoying kind? <laughs> no, it's like a prerequisite. I think it's like the algebra. That she needs before she can take statistics, because she needs to take take. Yeah, she needs to take statistics for the program requirement. But in order to do that, she needs to take this level of math class algebra because her credits that she took elsewhere math didn't roll over or count towards the. It was kind of annoying. I like maths. I think they're terrible. <laughs> I think they're a, a scourge. <laughs> no. What even was that all about?
I've been looking into prerequisites for grad school. I think your undergrad courses don't apply after a certain amount of time, though, in some cases. Yeah, that's what I would be worried about going back to school. I have a bachelor's degree. But if you forced me to take some sort of placement test in math, I would probably be like third grade. <laughs> This is, I'm very bad at it. <laughs> algebra is algebra. All right, there, Rain Man. <laughs> Listen. Some of us didn't get it back when we were young, and and whatever we did get in order to pass by the skin of our teeth has long since disappeared from our brains. Well, that's the thing, though, with, like, graduate... I mean, I, I guess graduate degrees are different and weird. Like, because they're still, like, the GRE. So, like, you still have to, like, have a test to, like, show competency in, in order to just start grad school. Unless they're doing away with that. I don't know. No, no. Oh, I'm saying it would, it's, it'd be odd for them not to accept an algebra class. Well, this, this wasn't even, this was like less than two years ago, but she took it pass-fail. And that's why they wouldn't accept it. Which, she passed. Um... That in and of itself, I don't know. That's kind of annoying. That's why, if I do ever like do any school, it'll have to just be for like a certificate or something, it's just like useful. I don't need a certificate to know I'm a cool dude. <laughs> I've got a Guinness World Record certificate. <laughs> Does that transfer? I still gotta find the original one though. I have two of them. Double credits. I have the latest one. I do have the latest one. I just can't find the first one. Which is the one I was supposed to send to, uh... Life-Size Teddy Bear? Was it Life-Size Teddy Bear? I believe... Did the top gifts last subathon? I might just send them the one I have. It's not like I have it in a frame <laughs> or anything. I'm not, like, displaying it or showing it off to anybody. Speaking of which, I still I gotta get contact with Good about the cardboard, Kurt J. Mac. You're currently in nursing school.
Your girlfriend says I should ask the Guinness people for another copy, but I don't think they're going to give me the time of day. There, there's your answer, Nukem. Lava. Apparently you can buy Guinness certificates online. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> They're not anything special? 25 pounds for a new certificate. I knew I... <laughs> but like, you have to have one. Like... You can't just, like, make one up and say that you have, like, the longest eyelashes in the world and then be like, make me a Guinness certificate. $25. All right. Well, that... I mean, maybe then I will send them. The one that I have, the most recent one. If, if ever I desperately need my Guinness certificate, I can just order a new one. <laughs> That's the thing, I didn't make a record attempt. They came to me and said, here's your record. <laughs> so I didn't even like, I mean, I, yeah, I'd have to see what email was part of our correspondence. <laughs> All right, well, there, there's your answer, I guess. Thanks for looking into to that for me. Oh, dang, Wolfie is taking some damage here. Thank you. Hopefully you dingus. Go through your whole stock of food.
Oh, I mean, we could have gone to the Niagara Falls to see the eclipse and then have not seen it because it was cloudy there, but they they got a Guinness World Record for the most people dressed as the sun. They had sun costumes on. We could have doubled up. Although, I don't know. I think in those situations, I don't think every participant gets a Guinness World Record. <laughs> I think, like, the organizing party does. Oh, if you were a participant, you could order one. Oh, man. Could have been collecting them. Trying to catch the partial at sunset. There were clouds on the horizon. Well, I think there's one 2026. Make a make a one to ten scale Guinness World Record sticker. You know, that's the sort of thing they'd come after you for. <laughs> they sick their Guinness world lawyers on me. See? <laughs> They're already threatening with ominous spooky noises. Wolfie, don't go up on the tree. Wolfie, oh god. for a mocking. A wolfie, you dingus. You're gonna hurt yourself. Ah. 
<laughs> Whoops. Oh, ah, yeah. uh, whatever. Ah, 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 <laughs> ah, that's a nightmare being stuck in an overturned boat. Oh yeah, were there any, did anybody with like fancy equipment spot or photograph the comet during the eclipse or was that just kind of a bust? Right, I don't I don't know that you could see it. But I just wonder if like via the internet anybody saw anybody who was able to like photograph it or expose right or stacking or something. I don't know, it'd probably have to be a composite, honestly. I just remember that was, you might be able to see the comet during the eclipse. You might be able to see the comet during the eclipse. You probably won't be able to see it, but it'll, it's there. <laughs> but yeah, then I never heard anything about it. There was Venus and Jupiter. Honestly, Wolfie, why would you do that in the sand? Really? Honestly. <laughs> Family show. Just, what are you talking about? It's just a closed pair of scissors. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's good. Are prominences actually flares or just large? <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Uh are actually flares or just large magnetic loops. I think I you'll have to google that. But I'm pretty sure both are one and the same. are not technically classified as solar flares, but both appear with greater frequency during the sun's solar maximum. Right. A flare is what happens when that magnetic band snaps. Usually. Releasing those particles of energy, I think.
Yeah, I don't remember if there were any, like, prominences in the 2017 one. I just remember the... The Corona... ...being a lot larger than I thought it was going to appear. Wolfie! 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 <laughs> Dang guy- oh no! <laughs> In 2017, there weren't any prominences. All right. That answers my question. I did. I wasn't looking at it with a telescope or binoculars or anything. Just my naked eyes, but... My new dudes. I gotta submit our taxes. <laughs> what the? You, what was that even? Do your taxes. I mean, I they're mostly did. I mean, the weird thing was that I was living here and my home office was here. By the way, if you work for the IRS, you can't listen to this next part. Uh, if you <laughs> and my home office was here. But then... So I was basically treating it like I was renting. place and taking the home office deduction based on that but now that we're married it's as if I own the place so like the weird thing I can't really get answered is like it's asking me when I started using this office for my business. But well, technically I'm saying last year. Because this is the first time I'm actually... submitting it. Like we own the place as opposed to rent the place. It's like a, it's like a new place. Because the problem arises is when we sell the house, they're going to want capital gains or whatever when we sell it for more than she bought it. I think. <laughs> so it's like, it's, it's very confusing. No, no, no. Yeah, it's just a, we're just talking about a percentage. Same, th same thing as a rental. I was saying I was renting the whole house, and the office was a percentage of the house. So I've only ever deducted a percentage. Yeah, I've done everything like that correct. It's just I don't know 
I mean, I know what I'm... I think I'm gonna say, like, oh, I just started using the office this year. Listen, no, there will be no recording. Oh, actually, there will be a VOD of this. Damn. Going up on YouTube. <laughs> what am I... I mean, I don't know. I, I, I've I, actually sent my taxes to a uh, professional. Uh, and they're taking care of all the legally great and up and up by the book stuff. Let's go to sleep. <laughs> I'm still paying more taxes than Amazon. Oh, geez, that past part of the VOD got muted. It must have got a content ID. <laughs> ah, geez, that's so weird, guys. I don't know how I could even tell that was happening as I'm recording it and broadcasting it. But I, it just happens. It's, it's out of control. The way people are abusing content ID. Why does YouTube not mute copyrighted sections, but Twitch does? Well, because when YouTube gets a content ID, then the ad revenue goes to the person making the content ID. As opposed to Twitch, which does not have that system. So they just... Twitch is the one who mutes it. To avoid the potential future legal problems. Although there is an option when you're looking at a content ID claim on YouTube to mute the segment of the video. And then that'll remove your claim. But then again, sometimes that doesn't work either. I'm far too much of an expert on this stuff that I definitely never wanted to be. Ooh. All right, Wolfie, you're not going to spawn down there, are you?
Hold on, Wolfie. How do I get down from here? Why do? Why have you done this? I'm running out of pork chops. Ninety-nine viewers of flob on the wall. Ninety-nine viewers of flob. There are some wolves. I don't think they're here now. <laughs> see, there's. We see them almost every day. I mean, we see them every day, but now, like the wild ones. Very. It's a very frequent. frequent it's a frequent swing. Never seen him before. One in ten, one million. <laughs> there, there they are. <laughs> you rang. You know, she's got her, like, face under her arm, like, into the, the bed, and it's snortle, snortle, snoring. Just as curious to entity count as blocks walked. Are you like expecting the entity numbers to be gigantic because of how far we walked? your bubble, but that's not how it, that works. Careful, Wolfie! 
I mean, just go back and look at any of the other F3 moments. The entity numbers reset as soon as an entity despawns. But yeah, when we do when we do press F3, you know, Wolfie is usually like 12 or something like that, and other stuff is just numbers, just reg just regular usual numbers. <laughs> is there a time for the F1 race? We have not set anything. I'm gonna go on Cone's availability. Yeah, uh, yeah, that too. I mean, that was a problem we ran into is when we were trying to ride a pig, is we got to an area with pigs and then they despawn. Like, even though I'm staring right at them, you know. But yeah, the entities, yeah, I guess modern, I don't know how modern versions do it, but yeah, entities aren't persistent. Cone ability. The colors were so close, I thought that was a green sheep. It was just, like, matching the grass around them. <laughs> I'm seeing orange sheep and green sheep. Enjoy the eclipse, Kurt. I did not, because I didn't see any of it. <laughs> I mean, we watched together here on stream in Stellarium and Space Engine. You may experience engine. the emptiness with me if you wish. Thanks. I stole the bacon. Welcome to the sub tub. Thank you very much for those Bezos Bucks Twitch Prime. New sub in the tub. One away from 1,600 subs for the first time ever. <laughs> okay, that is more than enough. Wolfie treat. A parallel universe, another dimension, another point in time. Goal. Goal! Lazarus Long, that is a long time. Have I said that? Like every time you've resubscribed now? A hundred months in the sub tub. Oh. Much appreciated. So much for that overabundance of wolfy treats. <laughs> We did just watch another episode of Voyager yesterday, and they said something about another dimension. So now I, I gotta find and create a clip of that. <laughs> you saw the eclipse. I'm very glad to hear it. 
Yeah, I've only seen the one in 2017 in totality. I would have liked to have made something happen at this one, but it did not come together. You may experience the emptiness with me if you wish. Thanks. Slevin, three, two, four. Thank you for four months in the sub tub, and another two minutes on the subathon timer with that. Oh. Twenty eighty nine. That's when I'll be over the Seattle area. I will be dead. There's a slight chance I might not be, but there's the greater chance that I definitely won't be living in Seattle, and I probably also won't have eyesight. <laughs> so It'll be cloudy. <laughs> uh, I'd be a... That would make me a hundred and six? Seven. hundred and seven. Yes, somebody take my head jar and show it to me. I'm gonna need it. Let me take a shovel. A hype Tom's train. Banana cakes gifted a tier one sub to Mag Beers. They have given 54 Never gift subs in the channel. Thank you for the gift sub. 1,600 subs. That's right. We're playing Formula One with Cone. Date and time to be determined. Play it during the eclipse in Seattle in 2089. Oh. Tin One Million gifted a tier one sub to Hinamori. They have given 109 gift subs in the channel. 109 gift subs. That's how old I'll be. Tin One Million gifted a tier one sub to Dr. Underscore Austin. They have given 110 gift subs in the channel. Thank you very much for those two gift subs. Tin One Million. Welcome to the sub tub. Oh, Dr. Austin has been here before. They're on Mars. Oh, careful, lava cows. We're hanging out a little close to that lava, cows.
Oh, he moved. He juked. Nah. Well, that was the corner of my eyes. I mean, I guess it's the nether, but why in current Minecraft is there not like a volcano biome that's like as rare as like say like a mushroom biome or something hmm hmm mojang hmm Ooh, keeping the hype train going. Thank you, Tom's Banana Cakes. Uh, hold on, I gotta find a... This is good. This is as good as any. Taxing is this on your eyes? We don't discuss taxes here. And we never have. Ah, uh, it's not bad. I've gotten used to it. And it's, if you keep your eye on the horizon. Not that big of an issue. Al Capone, <laughs> yes. All right, safe and sound. Oh, although my... Muted, my torch is in the wrong spot. There we go, now safe and sound. Let's go to sleep and back up the world. Fifty nine thousand four hundred and forty three point six megabytes. Getting closer. 